Kites by the paper kites. That's the name of the band. The band is Paper Kites. The song Bloom. The lesson this one. We're not gonna use a pick for the song. No pick. Picks are for porcupines, and I ain't no porcupine. I really hope porcupine is not slang for something that I didn't know about, and I just said something hurtful. We also need a capo. We need one of these guys. We're gonna put the capo on the sixth fret. If you haven't got a capo, a half capo will do. If you haven't got a half capo, then gosh bless you. Uh, if you don't have a capo, you can play without it. It sounds good. It just sounds lower. We're gonna put the capo up on the sixth fret right there. Boom. And now it sounds like the actual recording. I got a little winded from that introduction right now. The song is short but sweet. We've got some finger picking and some stuff. We're gonna start with an A minor seven chord. A minor seven chord. Let me, let me put this in, in terms that you can understand. It's an A minor chord without the ring finger. Does that help? Look, got the A minor chord. Get your ring finger out of there. So now we've got the E string, the low E is just open. We're actually not even gonna play that string, but it, but you're, it, then the A string, open, middle finger on the second fret of the D string, nothing on the G string. G string is gonna be totally open, pointer finger on the first fret of the B string. The high E string is also open, but we're not gonna play that one either. First thing we need to learn is the basic Travis picking pattern. I knocked my capo a little bit there. We're gonna learn the basic Travis picking pattern, which is the finger picking pattern that this song is revolves around. It doesn't just repeat the same pattern over and over again. There's some nice little things that happen, but that's enough of me talking about that. Get your A minor seven chord ready. Have your thumb sitting right on top of the A string like that. And then your middle finger is gonna grab onto the bottom of the B string like that. So you could pinch those two strings together. And we're gonna do just that. Go ahead and pinch those two strings together like this. So you just put some pressure on them, pull your fingers away. There we go. That's our first little thingamajig are those two notes played together. Then your thumb comes on down and plays the D string. So now we've got pinch, thumb, and we're holding the A minor seven over here all the while. Pinch, thumb. All right, great. Then your pointer finger plays the G string, which is open over here. So we've got pinch, thumb, pointer. Let's do that one more time. Here we go. And pinch, thumb, pointer. Fantastic job. Your thumb then goes back to the A string and plays it all by itself. And then your middle finger plays the B string, the second to bottom string all by itself. So now, pinch, thumb, pointer, thumb, middle. Got it, again, pinch, thumb, pointer, thumb, middle, great. Pay close attention to the rhythm that I am playing. I am not playing all notes at the exact same speed, the exact same rhythm. That first note where I pinch the two strings together, that, that note, we're gonna hold out for a beat. Then every other note just gets half a beat or an eighth note, or depend, or you could think of it like an eighth note, two sixteenths, diff it, but, 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 boo. Check this out. Slow, fast, 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 fast. Uh, got it? And then I added an extra note we haven't talked about yet. And then I said my signature catchphrase, got it? Pinch, thumb, pointer, thumb, middle, then go to thumb on the D string again, and then pointer finger on the G string again. So it's pinch, thumb, pointer, thumb, middle, thumb, pointer. Boom, bling, 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 bling. Bloom. Counting it out or tapping it out like that a couple times might be a great idea to get the rhythm into your body. It's gonna be one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and slow. Fast, 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 fast. One, two, let's play it together. Pinch, 
thumb, pointer, thumb, middle, thumb, pointer. Ah, uh, we've done it. That is the beginning of the song. That's what I like to call the first part of the song. Now it's going to get interesting because we have to move some things over around here with the left hand. We play that part. Then your thumb plays the A string all by itself again, so not pinching, just playing the thumb on the A string by itself. Still with the A minor 7 over here. Then your thumb comes down and plays the D string, still holding the A minor 7. Then your middle finger over here plays the B string. So we've got thumb, thumb, finger. That was thumb, thumb, finger. For a close look, we've got A string, D string. Then see how my middle finger is right here? Boom. Then my favorite part of the entire song, you're going to go back up to the A string with your thumb. But while you do that, pull your middle finger off of the D string and get it ready. Because as soon as you play the open A string, your middle finger hammers on to the second fret. So if you're not familiar with hammer-ons, that's where you play the string once, and then without plucking the string again, you just hammer the string with your finger. So I'm just trying to hit it with my middle finger right on that second fret right there. And then you can hear it when it hits like that. Bingo! See that? There's that hammer on. Then after that, your thumb plays the D string, which is open now because we pulled the middle finger off of it. And then your middle finger plays the B string, which still has your pointer finger on it. Look at that. All right. Should we play all of that once? I think we probably should. I think we probably should. One, two, from the tippy top, here we go. Pinch, thumb, finger, thumb, finger, thumb, finger, thumb, thumb, finger, thumb, hammer. I messed everything up. That was awful. I quit. So here's what happens sometimes is I am used to playing a song fast and then I slow it down for you and my fingers aren't used to it and it gets all messed up and I could just go back and re-record it and no one would know but I'm so desperate to have things in this video that it's not just me telling you the numbers of frets that I just keep it in there and I hope for the best. Should we try it one more time? One, two, uh, here we go and pinch, thumb, pointer, thumb, middle, thumb, pointer, thumb, Thumb, pointer, thumb, hammer, thumb, pointer. No, middle. I said, God, I'm so mad. I'm so mad I can eat a pony. Okay. We're just going to go. We're just going to keep going. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you the next part of the song. We just did this. At least that's what we were supposed to do. Hammer, thumb on the D string, middle finger on the B string. I probably told you that. Then your thumb goes, this is new territory now. Thumb goes back to the A string. Keep your middle finger on that second fret right there. Play that note. Then using your ring finger, hold your middle finger there and hammer on with your ring finger onto the third fret. Another hammer on. You've got to be pulling my chain. Look at this. Look at that. Notice how my middle finger does not move an ounce. Not an expression. Look at that. All right, so we've got Thumb plays the A string. Hammer on with your ring finger. Then your thumb comes down and plays the D string. And then your pointerist of fingers plays the open G string. So that was hammer, thumb, pointer. Ah! Oh. You could write a song just with that. Paper kites for you, bloom for me. I wrote that song. I made the lyrics especially. Let's go on to the next part of the song. Uh, I have to figure out what this is. Okay, so we just did that hammer on, and then we did thumb pointer. Then keep your keep your left hand like that. 
thumb comes up and plays the A string, and then your middle finger plays the B string, and then your thumb plays the D string. So it's thumb, middle, thumb. I wonder if any of these notes are correct. Let's see. Yeah, those are all the right notes, and I just played them at a medium speed for you. I recommend playing this as slowly as possible. After we learn this next part, we'll play this whole thing so slowly that it is going to make you feel like you are the king of slow. Yeah. All right, we just did that. We just did that hammer on from two to three. Thumb plays the D string. Pointer finger plays the G string. Thumb plays the A string. Middle finger plays the B string. And then thumb plays the D string, all to the while holding this hand like this. I just decided to say all of that again for no reason. Then uh, you're gonna go like this. You're going to play the D string open. Then your thumb, what is that? Oh, I just kind of flipped you off. I apologize. Your middle finger, not your thumb, your middle finger comes off of the A string and gets ready to hammer on to the second fret of the D string, that string you just played. So you play the open D string, pull your middle finger off, then hammer on to the second fret. Just like that. A plus work there, great job. I'm keeping my ring finger and pointer finger here. It's not a big deal that you do, you don't really need to, but you might as well. Hammer on to that second fret on the D string. Then, you are going to play the middle finger, plays the G string. Got that. What the heck am I saying? Your thumb plays the G string. See that? Thumb plays the D string open. Middle finger hammers onto the second fret. Thumb plays the G string. Then your Whatever finger, it could be middle or corner. I don't even, I don't give a pie which finger you use. I guess I use middle finger. It plays the B string. So we've got, that was D string, hammer on the second fret, play the G string with your thumb, then play the B string with maybe a middle finger. I don't know, who cares? Then keep your hands like that. You're going to do thumb on the D string then pointer finger on the G string, then get, uh, take, uh, take your middle finger off of the D string and play it open with your thumb. So that was thumb, hammer on, thumb, finger, thumb on the D string, pointer finger on the G string, open D string. I love that part. So I think we can all agree that I should start this video over. But like I said, I'm desperate for things that aren't just me naming frets. So I, I kind of, I kind of think I might just um not re-record it. Hello, is this thing on? This is my tuner. I'm just taking a little break. I'm just taking a little break because I feel like I got a little. Feel like I feel like I'm having a tough time with this one. So I'm just taking a quick little break. But I think we're ready to get going on with the rest of the song. The rest of the song, here's the good news. We're halfway through, but the second half is so much simpler. It's so much simpler. I'm gonna stay much more positive throughout this whole second half of it. Um, let's not review the first part yet. Let's do the second half, and then maybe I'll go back and review that first half. So the second half goes like this. It's so fun. Ring finger plays the third fret up on the top string, the low E string, right there. There's a good, there's a closer view of it for you. I just hit the microphone with my guitar. Ring finger's up there. Pinky on the third fret 
of the second to bottom string, the B string. Let me give you a good view of that one. How's that look? Okay. Then, and so those are there. Then get your pointer finger ready on the first fret of the B string. We're not actually gonna play that note right away, but you might as well get it ready. So now we've got ring finger, pinky, pointer finger, middle fingers just hanging out, not doing anything. Here's what you'd like, I'd like you to do. Have your thumb up on the top string like this. Have your middle finger on the third fret. Oh gosh, darn it. You're not gonna have this hand on frets at all. It's gonna be on strings. Why am I saying frets and I, I, I don't think that this is working. I'm just gonna put my sunglasses on. So then if I cry a little bit, no one can tell. All right, so you're gonna pinch together the E string and the B string. That's what I was trying to say, just like that. Then your thumb comes down and plays the D string and then your pointer finger plays the G string. So we've got pinch, thumb, pointer. Okay, pinch, thumb, pointer. That's right, pinch, thumb, pointer. Then back up to thumb up on the low E string. Middle finger plays the B string, second to bottom string. And your thumb plays the D string. So we've got pinch, thumb, pointer, thumb, middle, thumb. Hey, pinch, thumb, pointer, thumb, middle, thumb. What? You might have to do this several dozens or hundreds of times, maybe thousands of times before you're able to do it smoothly. Just do it thousands of times. Ugh. Okay. That's what it sounds like. Great. Then you're going to get rid of your pinky and your pointer finger, remember, is back here on the first fret of the B string. You just do the same picking pattern again. And then you get rid of your pointer finger and play the same pattern with the open B string. So that was bang, chicky, bookie, dow, bang, chicky, bookie, dow, bang, chicky. Dow. Then you just do the open B string pattern again. Boom, chicky, bookie, boom. So that was pinky, pointer, open, yeah. Shall we dust unto thine play the song frommest thou beginnest of thine twixt be out there? Let's see, pop quiz. Can you play the song along with me? One, two, a nice and slowly. Thump, thump, a picky dow, wide pen, sip a bow. I don't want to review it with you. I changed my mind. Good luck. <laughs>